You're going to take this L shape that you made. And some of you have done this before, but it's a really great exercise. You're going to move <coughs> these two L's around your piece. And you're going to come up with something that answers this idea of variety of tone, size, shape, and repetition. So, so you're going to just take a while and, to, and really take your time playing around with these two shapes on your piece. So I could look at that as a piece, or I could look at that as a piece. And this is a very personal decision. This is sort of a pretty busy, but interesting composition. This has a little bit of quiet area that I kind of like compared to this busier area. And perhaps I'm going to move it just a little bit down. And this is what I want to show you. I want you guys to try to avoid kind of a symmetry, something that's kind of slap bang in the middle of this shape, uh, of this um, rectangle. Because if you look at it over here, there's movement, there's a dynamic movement across the page, which if this was a painting, but if you move to something like this, do you see the difference? It's kind of a static shape in the middle that's kind of in the middle of the piece and really is not as interesting. So you're going to move the pieces around and you're going to come up with sort of some different ideas. Now, you, if you've come up with an, an area that you really like, that, for instance, is not interesting to me. If I add a little bit of variety there of the marks, then it becomes more interesting. But see if you can find about four areas that you really like, and then I want you to mark them with a pencil. So take a pencil and frame them uh, where, but take your time. Don't rush into this. You know, make it big, make it smaller, and just have fun with it. Sometimes to really focus in on the area that I have chosen, it's a little distracting to, to have the outside area showing. So what I'll do is I'll just put paper around it like this so that I'm not distracted. And that feels more focused for me. 